In this video, we're gonna learn how to create and import custom stencils for you to use in Morfolio Trace. We'll walk you through the entire process from beginning to the end, and we'll show you some benefits to creating a custom library for yourself in this app. And make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because we have a special giveaway to announce. Now before we jump in, if you're new here, my name is Carter and here we talk about landscape architecture, education, visualization, and representation. So if that's something that you're into and you wanna learn more about, then consider subscribing and also following me over on my Instagram as well. Okay, so let's get started on creating some custom stencils. So all you need to do is open up a new page and start drawing out what image or structure that you're gonna to want to be replicated as a stencil. Then you can just simply screenshot it or export it to your photos and you'll be all set. Then from here, we can go back over to the drawing and head up to the top right where the stencils icon is. Then click on the cog wheel on the right side and scroll all the way up to the top where it says my stencils. Now you'll see a plus sign in the upper right corner and you're gonna wanna hit that and then you're gonna be navigated to a new window to select your photo or picture from. Then once we open up that photo, we're gonna have a couple options to make this stencil work better for us. To start, we can zoom and specifically crop the areas we don't wanna show or include as much of the picture that we saved. We can also affect the amount of the image that we save or retain by moving the slider on the bottom of the dialog box. And the last setting is we can reverse the selection. So therefore we could have a background and what would be whited out would be those rendering objects that we wanted to show in the first place. But keep in mind, you can do this after you make the stencil as well. So you don't need to make this choice now if you don't want to. Now, of course, this is not the only way to import a custom stencil for you to use as well. You can also take a live photo of something or take something from the internet or something you've saved onto your iPad. All you need to make sure is that the image object or picture you're taking on is somewhere on your iPad or iPhone. So that way we can go through the same process to recognize the photo and get it into our stencil library. So it's actually a really easy process. You can do a bunch of different objects on one stencil, or you can break it down into individuals if you would like to do so as well. And Morfolio Trace does a really good job of selecting what exactly you want from the stencil and gives you some varying options to make it a little bit more custom and work better for you and for your taste as well. So I recommend if you're gonna be using this app a lot to start creating a library for yourself of your own personal images or items or images that you like. So that way you start developing a style and you can do it really, really quickly as well too. And not to mention that all these stencils can be modified and you can change the width, the height, you can rotate it, flip it horizontally, vertically, and also reverse the, the background as well. So it creates a really unique opportunity and keeps it unique as well for your drawings. Instead of having stencil, 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 you can make it look a little bit more custom. So on that note, if you guys are interested in developing your own custom stencil library or wanna get a more diverse library, then be sure to head down in the link in the description below as I've created a free stencils pack for you guys to have. In this pack, you'll get a lot of great options for trees, vegetation, ground covers, planters, rocks, and some other bonus items as well. You also get a lot of different people to use in your sections and perspectives, and also some plan graphics for trees and textures as well. So this should really give you guys a head start on all of your drawings, whether it's a perspective, section, or a planned drawing. So again, if you guys are interested in getting that pack, then head down to the link in the description below and just save it onto your iPad, iPhone, and then import it into your drawing the exact same way as you did before. And included in the pack is the actual Morfolio Trace file. So if you wanna go in and delete some of the stencils you don't want, or add some of your own or change some of the stencils, you can do that as well. And of course, this pack is totally free. The only thing I would ask you guys is to drop this video a like and hit that subscribe button for me. But that's how to create and import custom stencils into Morfolio Trays. It really is a super simple process and it's gonna be a lifesaver for you guys and is something really unique that this app has to offer. So be sure to take advantage of it. But all that aside, I hope this helped you guys out and I hope you enjoy the stencils pack. I'll definitely be doing more free content in the future as we continue to grow as a channel. So I'm really excited for it and look forward to the future here at Design It Green. But as always, 
take care, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.